Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone Hunter, the Hair Hunter, back in the building. Uh, this is another edition. Well, not edition, but this is another driving episode. Trying to get my um, trying to get my introduction in order. Um, but you know, happy Thursday. Good afternoon. To all of the good folks out there in the world and in the YouTube world, you see the title, I'm not going to hold you, so let's get it. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about Crip Mac, uh, the five must, five, five, Crip, and the reason um, why we gonna talk about him and make sure you stay to the end of the video um, because this is a real important video like comment share and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel if you already subscribed to the channel I appreciate you rocking out with me if you're not rocking out with me man tune in tap in realest YouTube channel on the planet so um, for, y for those of y'all that don't know the history of Crip Mac He's an individual that comes out of that big L.A., Los Angeles. Um, supposed to be a gang member, you know, representing 5-5 um, Crip, as he call it. Um, you know, sometimes he say Rolling 60, sometimes he say Neighborhood. Sometimes he say tiny hardhead. Um, you know, but those are just some of the slogans that he used. But make a long story short, uh Crip Mac became famous a couple of years ago. Um, you know, when he was living with his grandmother. And he just started making videos. Um his his the initial videos that he made was about uh him and his cat. And his cat, you know, eating uh, Popeye's chicken. And, you know, he always spoke about his grandmother in the video. At that time, he was living with his grandmother uh, as the video, you know, as the video goes along to show. And because of those videos and because of those episodes, you know, Crip Mac, he, he gained a little notoriety uh, for being funny. You know, for the cat videos, um, eating a Popeye's chicken. Then from there, he went on to start making, you know, videos about him eating Popeye's chicken and drinking, you know, old, old English, old gold, which is a beer for those of y'all that don't know. And, you know, it, it, he was trending, you know, he was get, getting a lot of followers. He was gaining a lot of attention. It looked like everything was going good for him. You know, he had a couple of his... Um, you know, people who was rocking with him, who was supposed to be managing him at the time. But Crip Mac wound up getting arrested for uh, weapons possession. And he had to, you know, go to the county and, and do some time. And when he went to the county, you know, he used to call and, you know, or, or put the information out there to those that was still, you know, supporting him that he was in the county jail, you know, doing fades and running fades. And I mean, I got to give it up to Crip Mac, right? Because he's definitely a funny individual, you know? Um, just so for him being who he was, he was able to, you know, create a following um, and making what he would call nifty increments, you know, which is money. Um, and it seemed like things was looking up for him. Well, some people were upset with Crip Mac. And they were upset with Crip Mac. I don't know if it was the fame. I don't know if it was um, the fact that he was just who he was. And... You know, he started getting talked about so much and he got so, so much notoriety. So I don't know if that caused a lot of hate, you know, in his camp or with his peoples or who he was dealing with. Um, but, you know, make a long story short, a video has surfaced on the Internet um, where it showed that 
you know, Crip Mac had to report to his neighborhood for um, a DP. Now, a DP in gang terminology is supposed to be, you know, a uh, report to your neighborhood to get a beating or to get beat up for, you know, some, some alleged violation. And a lot of people felt bad for Crip Mac at that time because, you know, uh, when he got the DP, you know, in his neighborhood, you know, he was all bloody, he was on the floor, um, you know, and people felt bad for Crip Mac because they was like, what is it that he's getting beat up for? You know, what is it that he's, that he violated or who did he violate or how did he violate, you know, um, his gang? And they never came to an understanding as to why um, you know, or who was responsible for ordering that DP because, you know, it's supposed to be gang politics and they're not supposed to speak on that. As well as, you know, it wasn't supposed to be recorded. It, it's supposed to be a matter um, that should be handled, you know, amongst, um, you know, his crew, his clique, his gang, his neighborhood, and what have you, right? But people were upset because information had came out that Crip Mac before he was officially put on you know to his set to the Crips um that it was a video that he was saying you know um he wasn't a part of the gang he was just a wannabe you know whatever 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 but I mean it just struck me as kind of odd because he had been claiming Crip you know, for so many years, he had been claiming his gang for so many years following that, and it wasn't no issues, but now that he started blowing up, and he he started becoming famous, you know, now it's like he get a DP, now, you know, people want to attack him, now, you know, um, people that had affiliations with him, or, you know, knew him, People were making videos about him and, and trying to discredit him and trying to, you know, bad talk him and, and, and whatever. Um, so he came back from prison and because he had a little buzz, you know, he came right back out here, you know, start making videos, um, start laughing and joking. Um, there was some rumor, there was some speculation that, you know, whoever was his management at the time, um, had took advantage of him and had took, you know, his money and took control of his channel. So Crip Mac pretty much came back out here with nothing. Um, and, you know, before long, he had got back on his feet, uh, started producing good content, you know, had hooked up with different management. Um, I believe initially he was managed by uh, somebody named ODM Slim. Um who, you know, pretty much was in, in, in charge of his management. Uh, and, and following that, you know, Crip Mac had got down with uh, somebody named 600, you know, Christopher Lovejoy or something of the sort. Um, and there was speculation, you know, that there was some bad business going on at that time that uh, Christopher Lovejoy, you know, had took advantage of Crip Mac, had took advantage of his channel, um, it was a lot of back and forth, you know, about that. And you, Crip Mac wound up getting arrested once again, you know, for another uh, weapons possession charge. And it just seems like, you know, he was gaining acclaim and notoriety on the Internet. But in real life, uh, he was getting into be it business dealings or life situations that was tending to hold him back. So he wound up going back to the county jail again, um, you know, when he was supposed to do some time, uh, but he was able to get a bail and he was, he was released. So he came back out, you know, talk about his jail stories and, you know, entertaining people like he once did. And then he hooked up with a New York YouTuber, personality, blogger, whatever you want to call him, by the name of China Mac, right? 
So now Trainer Mac came in the picture and things, you know, started to uh, be a little bit different. Meaning, you know, he took Mac to, he took Crip Mac to uh, Department of Motor Vehicles to get his driver's license. He, he you know, was teaching Crip Mac how to drive. Um, he helped Crip Mac get an apartment. Um, and just some of those things that they were doing, you know, that got a lot of attention and got a lot of uh, views on the internet, they decided to come up with a concept for a channel called Mac Ventures because they both named was Mac. You had Crip Mac and you had China Mac. Um, so they had this little partnership, they had this little endeavor. Uh, Mac Ventures took off immediately. You know, Mac Ventures started doing a lot of views. Um, Crip Mac was making money. China Mac was making money. Um, and it just seems like, you know, Crip Mac have finally got into a groove, got around the right people or the right person. And, you know, it seems like he was going to blow up and go to the top. Like he was in good hands. Um, he was dealing with, you know, good management and, 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 and good people. Well... Because Crip Mac had caught the gun charge and he was still going to court for it, um, sadly, what wound up happening is when Crip Mac went to go to court, you know, for the gun charge, uh, the federal police was there waiting for him. Uh, they snatched him up and they turned, the, the state dismissed the case and the federal, the federal, uh, you know, the federal um, police, they wind up picking it up. Feds, federalities, federal police, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they wind up picking up the case. And that's where we're at right now in the story where Crip Mac um, is in federal custody. Um, he's been making videos and uh, he put out there to the people that pretty much he accepted a five-year plea deal. Um, you know, just so he could get around this gun case. And he could move on with his life. But what happened since Crip Mac was incarcerated is him and China Mac fell out. Make sure you hit the like button um, if you're enjoying the content. And make sure, you know, you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And stay to the end of the video because it, it gets a little bit more interesting. So, here it is. We see somebody like China Mac who was a content creator. He decided to hook up with Crip Mac. Um, give him, you know, give him some, some solid guidance. Um, and they were able to create a lane where they could channel all of their content. Where it wasn't scattered and all over the place. And I think it's interesting that you know, China Mac had did that um, or engaged in, in that with Crip Mac because beyond money, anybody that looked at Crip Mac videos um, and looked at some of his content, you could tell that there was some things going on. I mean, some people refer to it as mental health. Um, some call it, you know, lack of maturity, meaning, you know, he, he wasn't mature. Uh, some mark it off to him not having a lot of life experience and him being a gang member um, You know and just some of the conversation that came out of his mouth um, It just goes to show that he he needed to grow and develop in some areas and That's something that China Mac was able to uh, Was able to help Crip Mac growing so for nothing else I mean, we have to give it up for China Mac, you know, for, for putting effort, real effort, into wanting to see anybody grow, you know, uh, more or less somebody like China Mac, whom, I mean, more or less somebody like Crip Mac, whom, you know, China Mac is Chinese, you know, they're not from the same neighborhood, you know, they, they, they're not in the same game, they don't move around with the same people. You know, I I just think that it was definitely something upstanding about China Mac um, for taking the steps to put 
that kind of effort into another individual, into another human being. And for that alone, we have to give Trainer Mac his props. Okay, so moving right along in the story. So now, a little fallout occurred between China Mac and, 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 and Crip Mac. Um, and depending on how you look at it, um, and depending on how you view the situation, I mean, everybody's, everybody's coming up with and arising at their own conclusions. But what we saw on the internet was that Crip Mac had made a video saying, you know, or telling China Mac to stop being a tough guy, you know, to, to just focus on um, what it is that he's doing in life and stop arguing with, you know, other people on the internet. Um, and we're not even gonna speak about who are the people that China Mac was supposed to be, you know, arguing with or going back and forth with, uh, because I personally don't feel that that's important. Um, if y'all wanna, you know, look a little bit more into that, I would say, you know, do your due diligence and do some research. Um, I just don't feel the need to, to, to delve into that uh, because it's political, right? Um, however, what I would endeavor to say is that China Mac said that he decided to, to stop dealing with Crip Mac um, due to principles, meaning he felt if China, if, if, if Crip Mac had any issue with anything that he was doing, because they were friends, because they were supposedly friends, and because they were locked in to certain extents, he felt that, you know, China Mac, China Mac felt that Crip Mac should have, should have called him personally and spoke to him and let him know how he feel instead of going to the internet, you know, and airing it out. Um, to an audience like he was trying to use China Mac, you know, for some views or, or, or for some content. And to that, I understand where China Mac is coming from. Um, however, I think that one of the things that China Mac overlooked in terms of dealing with Crip Mac is that Crip Mac had a history of, you know, having good relationships with people then having fallen out with them because of some things that he said and he did and then he apologizes because Crip Mac is not one of the most mature individuals forget his gang affiliation and forget you know um his 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 laugh and his humor and the fact that he was able to build a following a following there's uh still some developing that Crip Mac had to do as an individual. So for somebody that's mature and for somebody, you know, that's more moral value and principle um, than someone like China Mac, I think that, you know, Crip Mac, um, what he did, it wasn't something that should have destroyed their friendship if they had a friendship there should have been a little bit more understanding um but this is where things get a little bit deeper for me right um and this is where people should understand that sometimes what we see on the surface that's not the whole picture right so a bigger part of the picture is that Crip Mac was claiming a gang allegedly. China Mac wasn't part of a gang. He wasn't claiming a gang. But he's running around LA, you know, getting money with Crip Mac. Um, and they're starting to see some sort of success. And behind the scenes, word on the street was that it was a lot of jealousy. Now, where that jealousy was coming from, um, Let's just say it was coming from a couple of different angles. And China Mac felt that because he so, you know, linked in and tied in with Crip Mac to the point where 
you know, he's visiting Crip Mac at his house. He knows Crip Mac address. I'm pretty sure, you know, Crip Mac knew, you know, some information about China Mac in terms of where he was staying at and his family and stuff like that. And China Mac led on in his videos that there was a lot of politics involved um, and that his health and his safety was one of his primary issues. And he felt that if Crip Mac would turn on him for that, then, you know, anything was possible. Meaning Crip Mac could line him up, you know, for somebody to do bodily harm against him. And I think that that's something that a lot of people overlook. Because you have to remember, Crip, China Mac is from New York City. And the way things go and the way life works in New York City is totally different than the way... Uh, in which life works and how life is governed in California. You know, we see and we hear about it on the internet that, you know, um, there's a lot of gangs in uh, Los Angeles, California, Compton, Crenshaw, Watts, you know, whatever you want to uh, call it. Um, and that they take gang serious, they take gang politics very seriously, you know, out there. Um, and if you're not aware of the gang politics, you know, or if you're not in a gang, it's easily to get caught up into the politics of, you know, what's going on out there and what goes on out there. So I think that for China Mac, um, he just looking at the picture, um, you know, he just kind of felt that his safety could somehow, you know, be jeopardized. Um, and I believe he made his decision, you know, accordingly. So, currently, um, China, China Mac, you know, has gotten back to his own channel, um, which he have two channels, uh, which those channels have a whole lot of subscribers. He's gotten a lot of views. He have, uh, you know, Mac Eats, um, as well as he have, you know, China Mac Talk. So he has two channels, um. You know, he's doing well and he's in the process of putting efforts back into his own channels. But it seems like Crip Mac channels have been stalling, uh, meaning he hasn't been getting that much views. He hasn't been getting that much action. He hasn't been putting up, you know, that much content. Um, he has, from last I checked, he has some merchandise uh, on his website that he's selling. And he's selling t-shirts uh, with his face, you know, with some kittens and, you know, some other things on the t-shirts. He's selling these t-shirts for $55.55. And, $55. and a lot of his fans, you know, have started to walk away from him um, as well as, you know, they feel like they're being used and they're being taken advantage of. And they feel like, you know, Crip Mac is trying to come up off of them because, you know, he's not making money the same as he was when he was with, uh, or, you know, when he was dealing with China Mac. Um, and now he's in, he's in federal prison. He's about to do five years. Uh, you know, his money is not coming in the same. His content is not coming in the same. You know, there's a lot of, you know, uh, issues that, then started or or people going back and forth at each other as a result of you know China Mac and, and Crip Mac uh, no longer doing business together. Um, there's many allegations that have been hurled that you know China Mac um, in regards to him walking away from the channel. Um, but I just think that it's sad, you know, because here it is, uh, Crip Mac was famous about a week ago. You know, um, he had a lot going on. Uh, there was a lot of potential, you know, for him to grow. And it just seems like everything is coming to a grinding halt um, ever since, you know, China Mac have stopped, you know, managing him and producing content with him. Um, his views is not the same. And I think that China Mac, you know, walked away for the reason that he walked away from uh, but I think that Crip Mac is not only hurt by it, but he's he is and has been affected by it 
uh, financially, you know, to the point where he lost a lot of money. And I, I was just watching a video with one of China Mac friends uh, by the name of Lupe, uh, where she did a live interview, um, and she went in, she went in on China Mac, you know, cursing him out um, and stuff like that, and saying that he was a messed up individual for walking away from China Mac. I mean, walking away from Crip Mac. You know over something that she didn't see as as that serious and one of the things that stood out to me about lupe is she kept saying that you know the channel you know the money you know it's messed up you know what he's doing you know they could have stayed together you know because they were winning together and that just made me feel as an individual that china uh crip mac has been seriously affected by uh, the decision that China Mac made to walk away from him uh, because the money is not flowing the same and you know so that's that's what this video is about and that's how I feel that you know Crip Mac um, rose very fast rose very high um, but he fell just as quick and the question that I have you know for those out there in the YouTube world is do you think that um, Crip Mac is going to be able to bounce back do you think that somebody else will come along and put the kind of effort that China Mac put into Crip Mac um, and come up with a concept and an idea like Mac Adventures that would be successful uh, once Crip Mac is released from prison I mean do you agree with China Mac In terms of him splitting up uh, With Crip Mac And for the reasons um, That he feel he should have You know Do you think it was wrong of, of China Mac Or do you feel it was right of China Mac You know do you feel that Crip Mac regrets this decision Or he don't care either way Because he feel like he's talented um, And he's gonna bounce back I want to know what you guys think and do you think I should do a part two to this video because there's a lot of information there's a lot of things that I left out it's a whole lot more to the story you know so let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a part two uh, to this particular video and you know if I get a thousand likes um, on this video and I get 5,000 views on this video, then I'll drop a part two because it's, to me it's a whole lot more, uh, you know, to, to, to this situation. Um, and that would give, you know, more perspective. So, until then, until we meet again, it's your boy Tyrone Hunter, the head hunter. Um, that's the information. It's up to you to decide what you want to believe. Because at the end of the day, we're just trying to find out what's really good. And do y'all think Crip Mac fell off? Or do you think that, you know, Crip Mac is still the same 5 miss 5-5 five, five Crip? Um, but yeah, man, we signing off. Tyrone Hunter, the head hunter. And this concludes our segment of what's really good. And I'm going to catch up with y'all in the next one. Stay safe, beautiful people. Um, live, love, and enjoy life. And I'll catch up with y'all in the next one.